started off uh, doing A-level IT and I've actually found uh, quite a knack for it. Um, so obviously my career teacher in school, she um, kind of pushed me to do software development in university and she said it was kind of the area to get into at the time. So um, obviously I went up to Georgetown and I did software engineering. Then obviously I came out and I was looking for a job and Henderson's had a post going in their internal IT team. So I decided to apply for it and I thankfully got the job. My first interview at a university so I was quite pleased with myself too. So my background in IT started in a PC world and as a technician in there and from there I went into a degree in computer science and started off as a programmer working in the public sector for a few years and then I transferred across to Henderson's and I've been here starting off as a junior programmer right through to the programming team leader and I am managing the support department that's been about 14 years. When I started here, I started as a junior, um, and people have said to me, coming out of university, you know, working in IT is a lot different than doing IT at university. Obviously, I, I didn't know the language that we used here, or any of the types of report mechanisms that we used, but when I joined, the guys within the team, they gave me time to learn a lot of this. Um, we're also providing the training courses, whether that was people coming into the business to teach us specific parts of it, or we were all sent uh, into other parts of Belfast to um, learn on specific types of skills. Basically, flexi time works for us. Um, the earliest we can start is half seven, and a lot of people do seem to take that option rather than start later and end later. So if I start at half seven, I tend to finish up around half past three, which is quite good, allows me to enjoy the evening times myself. We have a varied amount of work within the, the, the department. The, the work that I do is varied on a day-to-day -day basis between the, the first line and second line side of things, but we have over 80, maybe close to 100 different IT systems. So you could be working on warehouse systems, uh, account systems, HR and payroll systems, um, systems that go to the cloud and interact with suppliers, uh, web services, older progress databases, we have Linux servers, we have Microsoft servers, we have uh, SQL, you know, uh, Oracle databases, there's a, a massive range of different technologies within the company. So we have some specialists in certain areas and they would work on particular systems but a lot of the, the team, especially the second line team, and the developers work across a large range of systems and a large range of technologies. So if if you're getting bored in something, it won't last long. You will be onto something else shortly that, that may perk your interest. About two years ago, I actually left the company because I wanted to see what else was out there. And I missed a lot of aspects about the company. Um, more so, it was the people and the actual working environment that really made me want to come back. Henderson's were very much happy to have me back. Being a support analyst in Henderson's, I was first line support team for the IT users within the group. Um, and at that time, 16, 17 years ago, there was only two people in IT support and we maintained and managed all IT systems within Henderson's. My current role as infrastructure team leader, I'm involved in maintaining the IT infrastructure within the Henderson group. Um, we look after a large farm of servers with over 120 servers running on site, um, all IT security and IT networking. We have a team of five people uh, we are jack of all trades, uh, so we're, none of us are specialised in any one technology. Uh, we have to handle a large field of uh, information and systems. There are a number of challenges in the infrastructure team in Henderson's. It's an always changing environment. Um, every day we're faced with different problems. Um, the business moves so fast, they're always looking for new technology and it's our responsibility then to source different technologies that meet the business needs. One of the recent projects we completed, um, we deployed a new wireless solution throughout the whole site in both the offices and the warehouse. Our warehouse is almost a 24-7 operation now. And it is critical that the wireless network within the warehouses operates efficiently with zero downtime. All the warehouse operators now use wireless handheld devices and wireless voice activated devices in order to process the orders, to take the goods off the shelves and to deliver them out to the store. 